Hello everybody, I'm LuggyJack20. Welcome back to Let's Play Walking Dead Blind Season 1, whatever. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. We're in a gas station now after a bunch of crap happened in the last part. You guys just should have seen it, I suppose. Sorry, it's hard for me to keep track of everything. Or Papers a week old. Feels like years. You know, at least recap things quickly. We're holding up here right now after an interesting second part. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Fair enough. So you're a reporter. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm Doug? sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, mm -hmm. let me have a look. Let's see what we got. Okay. Definitely need to see if we can get this radio fixed. Okay. Uh, on, off switch. Flip it over. Aha! There's no batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Well, let's find Thanks some batteries. Too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay. Two batteries on it. Uh, cork board. Aww. So apparently this is actually the drugstore that his parents used to run up, if I'm correct as well. At least what he told me. Photographs. So there's his parents and his brother, I think, he mentioned? Huh. Sure, this wasn't exactly what he had planned for. Oh, battery! We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. A battery. It's like I'm playing Outlast again. Nah, it's not like that at all. Let's just. Anything else useful? I don't remember them very well. I'm sure, this wasn't exactly what you had planned for a reunion. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's, How's he doing? doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Mm. Hopefully good. She's good, I, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Probably, Not yeah. just any little girl can do that. So what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty <clears throat> dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You so? said your family was from here in Macon? That's yeah. Right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Mm, they own the place. I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. Try we passed some houses on the way in. Now. Things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, trying. considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Uh, sure. sure. As soon as I can learn a bit more about them, then I'll start opening up a bit about myself as a Back opposed. on Herschel's farm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? I panicked. I'm sorry. I just... It happened pretty fast. I guess. Yeah. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yeah, I guess. I suppose that is right. Try to let it go. <sighs> Just get over it. There goes my chair popping for some reason. That was a... <sighs> Destroyed the whole mood, you stupid, stupid chair. Eh, forget it. Energy bar. That's gonna be mine. Nobody else. I saw it first. Dibs. Five second rule. 
No take backs. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things? I think it's Duck not would much, like but here is. for the boar. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's probably one of them crappy protein like steak flavored bars. I, I was never a fan of energy bars. Just not my thing. Like, too much of one thing at once, typically. Hey there. Hi. Any word? Can I uh, get, you anything? get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Right. I'll see about that. How about a horrible candy bar later? So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, Awkward, uh, I think so. Uh, conversation here, we should probably... Good is good, despite the circumstances. We should change the subject. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. All right. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry if this series is not the best for... It's not much, but here, here you go. For commentary. Thank you. There's a lot of, of dialogue. Very heavily story-driven. I'm sorry, but that's just... Sometimes I don't need commentary, and sometimes I don't need to talk. Oh, the second battery. Sweet. Radio, consider yourself fixed. No, not that way. Dog, you can calm down. Sheesh. The dog in the room just kind of looked at me like... It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Shoot. Okay, off she goes. <clears throat> right. Radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Please tell me you know how to put a battery in a radio. Should be able radio. to get it to work now. Please tell me you know how to put a radio in a... It's still not working? Compartment. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Did Let you remember to put the batteries inside the Go device? Ahead. <sighs> All right. Let's see. So let's turn the bad boy on. <sighs> Nothing. Volume? Nothing. Okay, let's turn that back down. I want to actually blast the radio and get every single person on our case. What is wrong? Did you put the batteries in? Oh, antenna. Um, yeah, did you check, put the batteries in? Wait a minute. That's a... You put them in backwards. How did you... How did you do that? Usually they just have to plus and minus, but they give you a full colored depiction of the battery, a diagram, a colored, like a picture book reference. There we go. The it. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact <clears> with individuals. We set them apart. Nothing, luckily. The station is okay. Come outside, have a look around. <laughs> Let's see what's uh, my, yeah. my no, the gate up there is closed. Steve, you hang out in front of the store and be fine. Too much people talking at once. Sure. God bless you all. We'll have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Cool. Agreed. And um, on that chaotic note, let's uh. Quietly. I know there's no point in me whispering, but it adds dramatic tension. You see. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if someone gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Nice. Great. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Probably. Yeah, I think so too. We'd probably be lucky if in the year this gets settled out. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. And then I had a very nice effeminate sneeze elsewhere. in the background. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. If this was real life, they would have killed me by now. This is why I'm never good for these zombie apocalypse brick. things. So I can't get the brick. It's a combination lock. A so locker. The one trapped over there. He... Better than uh, us, huh? Wait, Everett, isn't that... Pharmacy... That's your brother. What? 
Do you know that guy? Um, he could be a drugstore hey. employee. Let's keep it so yeah. you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm he saying might. he might have the pharmacy keys. Dang it. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. That's your brother, man. No. Look at the uniform, though. <clears throat> he could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. That wouldn't have been good. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. All right. I'll see what I can find. Proof that... Proof without telling him that he's my family. Uh, How'd you end up here? Why are we having this conversation out here? I live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. Okay. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Right. What about you? I uh, grew up here. I know some folks. Yeah. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. Just need to, uh... Yeah, um... We should probably get back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Nothing we can do now unless you have a combination. Even if we have the combination, walkers are so close to these doors, they hear about the creaking of the doors and a heartbeat. Right, now I can calm down a bit. I need to get a drink of water in between these parts. That is my next reminder. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? Because you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure right some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. <sighs> no, seriously. In this situation... Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Doing my part. Plus, I got a lot of these freaking energy bars everywhere. If only I didn't hate energy bars so. Curse me and my odd ambitions. Lily. How's he doing? How are you doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I gathered. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, I'm sorry if he's about to kill a kid. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, oh, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's You're got a temper, here? though. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I huh. know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UTA. Was hmm. anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. <clears throat> Are you okay? No, don't. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Yeah. And I guess what do you think about all this? Thing. What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Well, there yeah, goes that. He doesn't mean it. Still it's a bit on my the... crap list. Yeah? We've got kids here. We don't need Never all this mind. pilot sure stuff. He's a good guy. He is. He just has his nice. Give him the benefit of the doubt, though, for now. I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Where's her mom? I'm not afraid of her going anywhere else. You know, Savannah, I think. Oh. 
you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back Thanks. to him. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right, um, so I'll give you this for trouble. It's not this much, but here. Now. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Now, probably energy bars are not the best for stress, but I could care less for logic at this point. Not that counts. Alive inside. According to Lily, that wasn't the case. Let's see what we got in here. So this is... I can't. I can't think about them in here. Just don't. Not now. Stupid music being so emotional on me right now. Stop it. There's a photo over there. Oh, pick it up. Let's see what it is. Is that you on the left? <laughs> you seem happy though. Before all this. Find okay. anything? Uh uh. Let's do that. Um a photo. Family, people, yeah. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Um, You're Lee you? Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? <laughs> no, not really, but who cares at this point? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I won't. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I don't want to be the problem. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I trust you as long as you can trust me. Seems like a fair exchange. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That's always good to know, then, that at least, you know, your folks died. Well, first fighting. aid kit. Oh, first aid. Perfect. What we got? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. That's good. That is good. Um. Oh, I'll there's the door. Path to opening that door. We should. Otherwise, we won't be able to get to the medicine cabinet on the other side. Freaking drywall, or not drywall? What the heck is this stuff called? Crate, crate, crate platforms. I don't know what the heck these things are called, but they usually hold up crates. Huh? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. Aww. See, dads are smart like that. <laughs> suppose they are. <clears throat> but right, the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? You look sure. help. Let's do it. Here we go. Just Watch your fingers in the drawers. Should probably do it from the right and the left, but... <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? 
It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. But here we have some... <laughs> Careful now. It's a real wood desk now. Do you have kids? Stuff. Um, no. You don't have a family? <sighs> um, we should probably change the subject. Uh, What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Huh. Those are good jobs. I'll What's say. your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Okay, so like, it wasn't law, um, okay. Social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Yeah. All right, a little further. Almost. We're <sighs> full of the corner and the... Now just push it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? <sighs> I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. When you want an odd love family, I suppose. Look, my family's Why gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah. yeah. Right. No. Let's get this done. I'm sorry. I don't want to be like I'm lying. I just don't want to, you know, trouble her with, you know, all of this Ow! mess I'm in. Ah. Are you okay? I hurt caught my the, finger. Caught on the Is drawer. It bleeding? A little. Um... Hang on, hang on. There's a first aid kit over there. I'll find you a bandage. You don't have to look too far, Lee. It's right there on the freaking table. Let's open it up and see what we can find. Don't forget to disinfect that, okay? We're kind of in the middle of a bad spot here. You get disinfectant Luckily, or something? there's nothing I need in here. Okay, I guess everything is just kind of there. Oh, I hope you brought disinfectant, jeez. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay. So you don't have disinfectant. Let's get this course. cut covered up. Yes, of please. Not. Well, let's just it's just a cut finger. I don't think anything bad will come of it. There you go. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, They'll find us. Uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got oh. my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Of course. Stay close to me until then, okay? Just have hope. This part is taking on a lot longer than I thought it would be. Hey, remote. And some chopsticks, I think. Are those chopsticks? The remote and pencils. To my dad's TV. Cool. This part's getting all a little bit longer than the I pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Please let them be unlocked. Yeah, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. <sighs> of course. Well, that's the situation we're going to have to figure out in the next part. Until then, I'm Lucky Jack 20 doing the Let's Play of Walking Dead Season 1 Blind. And I will see you all in the next part when I try and get these keys that door.